Digitally accessible. Digital accessibility simplified. Welcome to GAT 2022. And I just want to welcome Janice and Assumption. Thank you so much for being part of, uh, of our event. And can you please tell us a little bit of GAT? How did it get started? Sure. Well, for, first things first, I want to thank you, Juan and Mark and everyone else uh, for inviting me. I'm uh, actually really psyched because this is my, uh, depending on the time zone, this is my first event uh, of the okay. day. Uh, first, definitely first live event and first uh, of a number of events in Canada. Uh, I am originally, uh, or my, my hometown is Toronto originally from Montreal, but uh, I am really happy to be joining you from uh, the San Francisco Bay Area. Um, in terms of how GAD got started, uh, in November 2011, I just happened to be home uh, on a Saturday evening. I was living right across from the Air Canada Center at the time. And uh, as one does, when one is home on a Saturday night, I was trolling Twitter. And uh, ended up coming upon a uh, auto tweet from someone who I didn't know uh, at the time, Joe Devin, uh, who is a developer in Los Angeles. And it basically said that uh, Joe had uh, published a blog post called Accessibility Needs to Go Mainstream Now. And just the title alone got me curious. I had already been doing a, a couple of things in the Toronto area to promote accessibility. I had a launched Accessibility Camp Toronto in 2011 and had been working at RBC uh, and all that kind of stuff and just, just was always looking for new ways to get the message out to designers and developers in particular about the importance of digital accessibility. So I read Joe's blog post and he, he recounted the story about watching his dad who was getting old um, as we all do and starting to lose his hearing and vision and just his dad struggling with using his bank's website. And as tech folks do, Joe took to his blog to rant and basically said, you know, developers don't know anything about accessibility. They need to, and we need a day, a global day for developers to, to learn about accessibility. And, and, and it's important for everyone to just do one thing to make their website accessible. And I was, I was all over that message because of the stuff I'd been doing previously. Um, so I just randomly, you know, replied to his blog post. Uh, we got on the phone, chatted, and uh, here we are, uh, eleven years later. Eleven years later, or twelve years later, I guess. Uh, when, when, at least from when we first started talking, but certainly eleven years uh, into GAD. That's amazing, fascinating, and, and again, thank you so much for just having the foresight to be able to create an event. Now. Um, Going on the 11th or 12th year of uh, Global Accessibility Awareness Day, I know you encounter people with disabilities as well as organizations, but how can organizations or even people uh, within an organization help spread the uh, idea of accessibility of the awareness just to make a more inclusive uh, experience for everybody? Sure, I think it, it's so important for, for everyone to just ask the question, be intentional, like you, whether, you know, when you're sitting in a project meeting, a, particularly a kickoff uh, for a particular uh, development project or, 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 you know, you're in a, a design, uh, you know, you're starting off designs or, or whatnot, whatever meeting you are in that's, that's, that's project related, um, just ask the question, what, do, what are we doing about accessibility? You know, just being intentional about that and getting the conversation started is really the first place to start. And you'll probably get some people looking at you going, what? What is that? What is accessibility? Like, what? What? And then that's your role is to come into that meeting, uh, you know, being able to answer that, that initial question, why should we do it? Uh, tie it to the mission and vision of your company. Um, if you've got some things in your back pocket and sort of back pocket in terms of data points. Maybe you will have connected with your customer uh, operations folks ahead of time to ask the question, hey, have we ever in the last year heard from someone with a disability or impairment? And they might have been either complaining or providing feedback about the accessibility of our website or mobile app. And can you share that? You know, I'll, I'll anonymize it, but it's important. And you just have all this data in your back pocket 
that you can bring into that conversation. And just like I said, it's all about being intentional. I mean, it's great when I hear people say, oh yeah, I have accessibility on my mind or, you know, oh yeah, we're thinking about accessibility or we're considering accessibility. Thinking and considering are great, you know, reflective things, but being intentional means actually calling it out, getting it as a standing item on a scrum agenda, adding it as a definition of done, adding it as part of your bug bash, uh, making it a making it a uh, a measure of success. Um, so those those types of things are are ways people can can intentionally uh, insert accessibility into the work that they're doing. Oh, that sounds amazing. Thank you so much for that. Uh, and obviously, um, Global Accessibility Awareness Day happens once a year. But um, as you mentioned, you also co-founded other uh, accessibility meetups or events that are also happening perhaps more often. Maybe can you talk to us a little bit in terms of how you started uh, camp here in Toronto as well in the Bay Area? Yeah. So camp in Toronto was really inspired by an event that I uh, attended in Washington, D.C. back in 2009. Uh, it, for those of you who know what a bar camp is or unconference, there, there was a, an unconference or bar camp, excuse me, called Accessibility Camp DC, uh, where people gathered together in the MLK library in Washington. And basically, it was a Saturday. Everyone just piled into this room uh, and people put up uh, topics around accessibility up on a board and people organized into sessions. And it just, it all happened. And it was so disorganized it totally got the type a and me kind of nervous but it actually went really well and i think the key and i've always said this is you know you offer food you do something on a saturday tech related and people will show up and it was amazing just to see this 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 uh meeting of of designers developers folk with disabilities and so then i went to that i got inspired i helped out with an accessibility on conference in boston and one in seattle uh and uh, then I was like, okay, I've, I've done enough of this. Let's, let's actually do one in Toronto. And I contacted uh, Utah Traveranis at the then uh, OCAD, uh, today OCAD University, who's mm -hmm. she's an amazing, a giant of inclusive design in Toronto. And I said, hey, this is my thinking. Can, can we run this event at OCAD? And she gave me the green light and we did it. And uh, the, the energy in Toronto was so amazing. You know, because you have you have like uh, disability studies, you've got uh, inclusive design uh, degrees and, and things like that in Toronto. I mean, uh, you know, people outside of Toronto will hate me saying this, but Toronto is kind of like the, the center of, of Canada in terms of tech and all of that stuff. Uh, but uh, of course, Kitchener Waterloo, too. But um, but yeah. And so that's how it started. Um, and, and then when I moved to do. The Bay Area in 2013, I was like, you know, I'd like to build some level of, of community here in the Bay Area. So I launched a sister meetup to A11YTO, uh, which is called A11Y Bay. And then I also launched the camp, which LinkedIn, LinkedIn has uh, hosted uh, for the last, uh, since 2014, since it launched. Uh, so both the meetup and the camp launched in Toronto, and excuse me, in the Bay Area uh, in 2014. So uh, we'll be announcing the date for Accessibility Camp Bay Area shortly, maybe awesome. even today. Wow. And, and for those people who don't know, uh, the, Bay, um, the Bay Meetup um, Accessibility, no, Accessibility Meetup is going to have an event today. So I invite them to, to go check it out. And oh, absolutely. Yeah. Um, it, and it's been time to be Eastern time friendly. Mm -hmm. uh, so it's uh, 5 p.m. to 7 p.m. Pacific time. If you go to meetup.com forward slash A11Y Bay, love to have you join us. We've got three amazing speakers and that will be my final act of the day before I hop on a plane to Nairobi tomorrow uh, via Vancouver and Toronto, by the way. <laughs> nice, <laughs> nice. So uh, I think we have a couple of questions. We can we can actually open the uh, uh, Q&A for a couple of people if they sure. want to ask any, anything for uh, Jenison. And but can, can they, I very, can I very ahead, quickly shill the GAD Foundation? Um, oh, sure, please go ahead. So real quick. So on the 10th anniversary last year of, of Global Accessibility Awareness Day, Joe, Devin, and I thought we had to do something, uh, you know, bang, 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 like 
big. Uh, and so we decided to launch the GAD Foundation. And if you go to gad.foundation, you can learn all about our mission and vision. But essentially, we want to disrupt the culture of technology and digital product development so that uh, accessibility becomes a core requirement. Um, so we, uh, we've got a number of programs of which GAD is one of them. But if you go to uh, gad.foundation, you can learn more there about what we're up to in the foundation. And that's gonna be more of a year round commitment to the work we started back in uh, 2012. Oh, that sounds amazing. Thank you so much. And for sure, we're going to be uh, providing information to everybody in our social post as well as uh, in the uh, post GAD event. Uh, we'll make sure to, to provide links to that as well. Um, awesome. Perfect, thank you. Anna, do we have any questions for Jenison from the um, uh, attendees? And uh, yes, so we have a question from an anonymous attendee. Uh-oh. Uh -huh. Hello, anonymous. <laughs> <laughs> Always the best person. Uh, what does diversity, equity, and inclusion mean to you in terms of accessibility and what, and what doesn't it mean? So what does it mean and what doesn't it mean? Wow. Well, I'll start with what it doesn't mean. It, it doesn't mean uh, let's just focus on uh, one or two minority groups. What I mean by that is that people with disabilities cross-sect all of the DEI, the, the ones that we all know uh, and we hear often about. People with disabilities, we all, across sect across multiple uh, one or more of the DEI segments. So if in following with that, if people with disabilities are uh, part of any one of the representative groups of uh, DEI, so cutting across, accessibility, you know, depending on how you define it, uh, is part and parcel of the package. You cannot, for example, be proactively hiring people with disabilities in the, into a company, if your application to onboarding digital products or digital experiences are not accessible, if the productivity tools that a person is supposed to use in their current and next job are not accessible. So there is absolutely uh, an explicit connection between uh, people with disabilities, DEI and accessibility. Excellent. Thank you so much, Jenison. And with that, I really want to thank you for your time here. Oh, with us. thank you. Hey, thank you so much, uh, Juan and, and Mark and everyone. Uh, I, I, th I think, I think it's, it's amazing the work you folks are doing. Thank you for holding uh, this event uh, and getting the word out. And um, I look forward to joining you again, May, who knows, next year. Yeah, for sure, for sure. We have to make it uh, hopefully a... Uh, um, an in-person event. <laughs> we'll right. see how and, we're going to do it. And if people want to follow us on social, the ha mm -hmm. the official hashtag for Global Accessibility Awareness Day is hashtag G A A D. And you can find me on Twitter at Jenison as well as on LinkedIn, uh Jenison Assumption. And I just want to thank everyone on behalf of Joe Devon and myself uh, for caring about digital accessibility and inclusion. Um, and that's it for me. Jenison, thank you so much. Again, we really appreciate you being here and uh, and talking to us about Global Accessibility Awareness Day, as well as everything that you have done for the accessibility community. Thanks, Juan. Uh, thank you. Have a wonderful day.